Aries, hello. Welcome to your mid-month medical intuitive health reading. I'm an RN and a medical intuitive and a psychic reader. I have some very important announcements. As of right now, every reading on my website is 51% off. Go to jamiecheshire.com, click book now. That is in honor of my 51st birthday tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, excuse me. And that's to say thank you for supporting me all year. Next, I'll be doing a subscription newsletter giveaway. So you will need to go to my website, jamiechester.com, put in your email address when the box pops up that subscribes to my newsletter. I will not spam you. I'm going to be doing a free personal reading giveaway on a regular basis. <clears throat> so you get an email from me saying, do you want a free reading? Answer back this email. And the first three people to answer back will get a full free reading from me. I'm so excited. Next. I have a new type of reading coming out March 1st. No more general monthlies. I'm sorry. They got to go. I'm done. Um, <laughs> the new type of reading is so exciting. I cannot wait. Please hang in there with me. And my medical intuitive reading YouTube live free readings from me will be February 19th at 2.22 p.m. All right. That's enough. Joy. Joy. And pain. Sunshine. And rain. I haven't sung in a long time. I used to do that a lot. Um, Joy, this is you and somebody else and you're reaching for one another and you can't quite connect in the energy of joy. And what I'm getting is the problem is spiritual. Another sign. So watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Another sign got this, but the problem, cancer, the problem was emotional. This one's spiritual. So I think if you got right down to it spiritually, you might realize you don't even want to connect with this person. Sorry, I'm the tough love reader. You know, my mentor was reminding me the other day, um, she's my best friend at this point, but she was like, I'm the bad news psychic. I don't sugarcoat things. And I was like, I'm the tough love reader. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you know, it doesn't help anybody to just have sugarcoated messages thrown at you, right? Um, another one would be, for some of you, it's you and your higher self can't quite connect and you don't have enough joy in your life. And the answer is spiritual. So meditation, prayer, connecting with nature, etc. I hope that makes sense. Next, I do not get this card a lot. I do not get this card a lot, Aries. Water. So... I often get this card when... Either you might have incontinence issues, there's that. You might have bladder stuff, there's that. But another thing I'm getting is whatever it is, whatever symptoms you're having, it's got to do with like either you dam up all of your emotions, you don't let anything out, or you're like, and it's kind of one or the other. Some of you might be the damned up emotional person, people, and the other some of you might be the too emotional. Are you looking too hard for extra shadow work to look at? You know, I had so much shadow work come up for me in the last um, uh, seven, eight months that I thought I was going to die, quite honestly. All these repressed memories and because my psyche knew it was finally safe to look at that stuff. And I remember one day I was like trying to think about that. And I was like, what are you doing? Like that stuff comes up and then you work on it, work through it, etc. And then you move on with your life in the energy of joy. You don't sit around all day going, that bad thing happened to me when I was three. Let's think about it every day. Does that make sense? Are you afraid if you don't think about it enough, you'll forget about it? And maybe that dark stuff that happened to you has uh, been a really big part of who you are. Are you afraid who you are will change because it will. And what's wrong with that? We need to change and grow. We need to turn into different versions of ourselves, don't we? Higher self versions of ourselves. So I'm getting, I'm going to put that real simply. You need some emotional balance. Next, throat chakra. Interesting. If you're having any orthopedic issues or especially hips, because that is pelvis. That could be female stuff too. I just saw female stuff, hormonal cycle issues, etc. Fertility stuff could be due to everything I just said. Also throat chakra. That's a beautiful throat chakra. 
shiny, healthy snakes or transformation. You've undergone a transformation in the ways in which you do and don't speak up. I think you've gotten a lot out, whether that's telling people how it is, whether that's writing, whether that's between you and your higher self, etc. And it's really beautiful. So if you're having any <coughs> throat issues, sure, it could be sinuses. <laughs> As I go, <laughs> right? It can also be, if you've had throat issues, if you do this a lot, <coughs> which I actually do, but if you do that a lot, I'm getting that could come to an end, but you've got to stop doing it. Sometimes we have a real throat issue and then we get in the habit of coughing or clearing our throat too much. And for some of you, you need to break the habit. That's enough out of me. Thank you so much. Free reading, subscribe to my newsletter, meet me at my YouTube live. 51% off readings, hit up my sale right now. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to me on Valentine's Day. Happy birthday, happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Bye-bye. Ah, ah,